So I just won the raffle for the Concord 11. So this is my first time winning the raffle. Any other time I get a pair of shoes, I win them by like just buying them online, or I just get lucky and walk in the store and no one pick up the raffle. So I'm about to just go ahead and pick the shoes up at Shoe City. And yeah, let's go in. This is the vlog. All right, so we're about to walk in the Shoe City, pick up these shoes. Feel me? All right, guys. So success. You know what I'm saying? We got them right here. Air Jordan 11 Retro. Let me focus the camera real quick. We're gonna get to the review when we get inside the house. White, black Concord. You see them in the box. Give you a little sneak peek. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the review when we get back in the house. Back when we safe and sound. Right here, we out here. Alright, guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Air Jordan 11 Concord. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope. Every time my phone rings, so these shoes came out on December 8th, 2018, and I got them by winning a raffle ticket. And basically, the system is that once you get the raffle ticket, uh, they basically call you if you're if you win it, and then let's focus. They basically call you if you win it, and then they tell you uh, what time you have until to pick it up until they cancel your your submission, and then anyone after that time can pick it up and pay for it. So the cutoff, it was from the store opened at 10 a.m. And basically you had from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. to pick up the shoes. And if you didn't pick it up between that time, then someone else could buy the shoes. So I got, I picked them up around like 12 p.m. So, yeah. So basically, these shoes came out in 1995. And this is when Jordan had just come back out of retirement. And they put this 45 on the back of the shoe, as you can see right here. So yeah, there's a lot of history behind this sneaker. So, we got a lot to talk about. So basically, I've been trying to get these shoes for a minute now, and it took me a while, you know what I'm saying? So, this is the box for the shoes. This is like the retro box. Like the original box didn't have the little pullout that they did later in the later years, which is pretty interesting. And you got a lot of people probably don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm literally gonna have to pull out the release from 2016 this is the Space Jam box like right here and basically it's a pull out box pull that sleeve out and then the old the older versions would say 23 in the same font and then you take it out and then it's like all this it's all this like package, special packaging it says XI well, this is backwards so it says XI right here which is 11 in roman numerals and we take that out then we have the shoes themselves and this was basically the first jordan to have the the first retro to have the 45 on the back and these came out in 2016 and a lot of you that have been scratched my channel you probably saw the video when i dropped it just two years ago so yeah but the difference is on the 2016 version that retro the 45 is stitched see that but then this year, which I don't like, they printed it on like how they did all the older models, which is kind of dumb because when it's printed on, it can peel off after multiple wears. So if you like crease this ankle part, the it's just like a t-shirt. If it's printed on, it'll just eventually come off, which I really personally don't like, but it is what it is. I'm just borrowing the shoe for the history, not more so like all that extra stuff. But anywho, this shoe is pretty awesome. It, you can match this with about just anything, honestly. And then, let's go ahead and look at the size labeling. This is size 10. I go shoot a size for a Concord. Hopefully, I think my feet have grown a little bigger. Some of my shoes are starting to feel a little tight. But worst case scenario, let's take out the insole or I'll size swap. So it says Air Jordan 11 Retro White Black Concord. I don't know if my autofocus is on. But yeah, this is what it says on the label. And basically, the retail for these shoes was 220 And since it's 6% tax in Maryland, it was $13.20 worth of tax. So my total was two thirty three twenty. You can see right here. Look at that. I don't know if it's focusing or not. But yeah, it was two thirty three, two hundred thirty three dollars $233.20. So... Yeah, they were in my pockets, but 
Good thing I'm not a broke boy anymore, so yeah. And on the inside of the shoe, it has like this Concord purple shoe tree. And a lot, a lot of people always ask for this Concord. What, what does that even mean? It's just the color purple. It's a shade of purple, which is this. So you also see that it has a Concord purple on the Jumpman right here, which is pretty cool. I don't know if my light is like shining enough on that. Uh, let me go ahead and raise the aperture a little bit. Uh. There you go. So you guys can see that a little bit better. If not, then yeah. And this is how they came in in the shoe box. This is the factory release setting. Which I don't really like, but I'll, I'll change it when I do the on feet part of the review. And then on the inside, I had to go fix a camera problem real quick. But anywho, like I was saying, on the inside of the shoe it says Nike Air. Hopefully the camera picks it up. It says it in white. But yeah, it says Nike Air on the inside. If my camera would just focus, that would be great. There you go. It says Nike Air on the inside. And then, like I said earlier, the 45 is green printed on, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And then on this part right here, Concord Purple hits. And then if you open it up, it actually says Jumpman Jordan. I have to loosen up the lace so you guys can see this better. I don't know why the factory lace is so tight. Goodness gracious, you can't even put your foot through here. You literally have to adjust it before you put your foot in. Otherwise, it's just going to be screwed. Yeah. Let's open this up a little bit just so you can read it. <sighs> okay, so as you can see, it says Jumpman Jordan. It says Jumpman Jordan right here. So if you read it from the front, it looks like it looks like Greek letters. But if you read it from the side, then it all makes sense. But yeah, but I think I'm pretty sure I could have just taken out the insulin too. I don't know why I didn't do that. I could have just done this. <laughs> but yeah, I had a cranial flagellation. But yes. Yeah, and then the jump man is facing opposite directions of those shoes. I feel like I should mention that because some older pairs, I forget which which model, they would have the jump man facing the same direction. And that used to be a key way to indicate if a shoe was real or not, but the newer models, the Jordan, the jump man faces opposite direction, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna be doing a real versus fake comparison pretty soon, so stay in tune for that. And yeah. So the other thing I think is pretty cool is that which gives the shoe its name Concord, the purple hits, is that the sole has like these purple traction pods right here. So you can see the purple right here, and then the black carbon fiber, the white jump man under the translucent sole and these they have like a blue tint to the sole which I like so it's gonna last long it's not gonna yellow fast like older retros did and of course the white mesh just like the jerseys that they used to wear or they still wear technically and then right here it's like this slightly tumbled leather it's a nice smooth it's not the smoothest leather not smoother than Jordan 1 leather but it's it's alright for 220 it should have been better in my opinion but uh, that's how Jordan gets people they get you with the history and then on the inside of the tongue it says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest play ever Jordan you guys are going to have to hit my line because you guys can't be putting quality basketball products if you guys are raising the price and not making the leather better you know I feel like that's a little bit of a scam to be to be putting that inside a shoe and then not having the highest quality leather you know but anywho what else have I missed for this shoe and um Oh yeah, the size tag is on the inside of the shoe. It's like right here. I don't want to crease this up too much, but the size tag is like right there. Size, it's US size 10. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to loosen these laces because my goodness, they tighten these things up way too tight. And then of course the pad leather is cut higher than any other pad leather for like the previous retros. 
So I think usually like the cut would be like a little bit down here. So and it was it would be like from here all the way down there, but they've raised it so it's this high up. And the thing that they started doing since 2016 with the with that specific Space Jam model that they have widow peaks. As you can see, this used to be like a little indicator that a shoe was fake. But now it's indicated that they're real, so things change. So you see the widow peaks on like the upper toolbox area, the side area right here. And yeah, that's it. So there's four widow peaks in total. Or no, there's three. There's one, two, and three. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's three in total. So yeah, but other, overall, this shoe is really nice. The quality isn't that bad. I'm just complaining about the leather because if it's 220, the leather should have been like shattered backboard leather. So the shattered backboard ones have the best leather. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review. For the next part of the review video, I'm going to show you guys how they look like on feet. And you guys will be able to just see how you like them with different pants and different colors. Honestly, because these shoes are black and white, you can do a lot with them. So your options are pretty much endless. So yeah, on to the next part of the video. Don't forget to like this video, press the subscribe button, and press the notification bell next to my channel name to be notified when I upload a new video. And share this video with your friends, so that way they can subscribe to the channel so we can grow, you know what I'm saying? trying to get this channel off the ground so I can only do that if you guys help me out so with that being said on to the next part of the video which is on feet peace cue ball, cue ball. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, yeah. Yeah. these haters love to talk Oh, this ain't no jump You can knock it off I ain't finna stop Ballin' Swiss Sausin' Sausin' These haters on me holdin' all these grudges Grudges I'm round the world fulfillin' my callin' They on my status cause I'm up and poppin' Poppin' Ballin' Ballin' Saucin, saucin. These haters on me holding all these grudges, grudges. I'm round the world fulfilling my calling. They on my status cause I'm up and popping. Stop it. God with me, I know. Yeah. Every step I take, I grow. I grow. Life without him, my struggle. Every move I made, I stumble. Yeah. Raised in the hood, real gutter. I was down, but now I'm up. Yeah, yeah. I'm on a new route now. Going up and never going down. Stay Jesus up. on my side, no doubt. He I was lost, but now I'm found. For all you people pointing at me fingers, cause I turned my life around. I thank God for everything I went through in this life then Even the hardest situations in my darkest nights I felt this world throwing punches, but I knew how to fight You smoke L's, I take W's, my team winning right I see these haters running lip, they trying to see me die I'm talk. They said I'll never make it nowhere, don't believe I I'm up here So what's the real reason why you got issues with me? Is it in our past, do you even really know me? I know. See, I won't ever know until you tell me something say, say. All I know is I forgive you when I been ballin' Saucin', saucin' These haters on me holdin' all these grudges, grudges. I'm round the world fulfillin' my callin' They on my status cause I'm up and poppin' Stop it Ballin', ballin', saucin', saucin' These haters on me holdin' all these grudges Fuck how you feel? I'm round the world fulfillin' my callin' They on my status cause I'm up and poppin' All white on me cause I'm froze My name is Cubo if you ain't already know Oh my lord, I gotta represent some more All them demons, they be lurking, trying to take all with my soul You can't have it, trying to buy me, but I'm already sold yeah, yeah. So my soul to the Lord, to the Lord Yes, I did Covered in his blood, yeah, you know I'm fully clothed So I ain't worried if they pull up with that drum Ooh, I was a drummer too, banging on them too On the block, 
they was rockin' red, I was rockin' blue All the locs too, back then, but God changed me too I was a fool, I didn't know what to do, but God made me new He could do it to you too Still the same person, yeah I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be on sneaky move I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Oh, I heard you gotta do Now every time I see him, I stun on him too I know he ain't finished shoot, ay I'm riding so 